You learn in high school biology that you get half your DNA from mom and half your DNA from dad, except that's not the end of the story. My research is on Saturn's B-ring. We are researching spin orbit torques to optimize magnetic devices. As the laser hits the particles inside the, the sample, it scatters. I'm studying some proteins that might be involved in tumor growth. We're actually looking at a model called heat shock response. Everybody is engaged, so they let me engage with what they are doing. I've made a lot of friends here in the lab. For me, the most exciting part of the summer is really getting to know my other fellow scholars. We're all here because we love to do science. We all love to talk about science, and it's been a great experience just to see what their endeavors are. We're all on this journey together. Everyone's path is different. I'm the first one going to high school, at the very least in my mom's side, and the first one going to college on my dad's side. I have so many interests, and I didn't know which one to choose. And then I started working in this lab, and it became it pretty clear to me that this is what I like. Everyone is really, really trying to make a difference and everyone's really excited to be here this summer. Just the opportunity to actually apply the knowledge that I've been learning in school to physical research has been really cool to me. I've absolutely loved it. The opportunities that they provide for us so that we can spend the time to do research and to perfect our skills. Everything that I've done here, um, I've been doing for the first time. I've learned how to clone DNA. I've learned how to insert that DNA into other cells and harvest proteins. In the little space science building, there's people heavily involved with Mars rover missions, the Cassini missions, extrasolar galaxies, and exoplanets, and it's really amazing to be able to talk to these people. At Cornell, there's so many people here who want to help you. They are very helpful. Actually, like, they let me do everything. You just try it, and then if it doesn't work, we're gonna help you. A lot of my professors in the past, they would check in on you periodically, but you generally wouldn't see them unless you sought them out. Dr. Lin comes to the lab every day and uh, just, to, just to chat with people and see how they're doing and answer any questions. The professor I'm working with, he's a fun person to work with, but what I like about what he does, he, he actually gives me the opportunity to go do research. Every week we have lab meeting and uh, journal club, it was where we discuss a paper in the field together. It's amazing to see this collaborative network and how they purely care about helping one another and doing very good science. I had no idea that I would ever be interested in nanotechnology or even have the capacity to understand it in any way, but this summer has really taught me a lot. Aside from the research and the academia here, there's a social life here, there's, there's things to do. I couldn't think of a much better place to spend the summers. I mean, Ithaca's amazing. Every single weekend there's a new waterfall or gorge to explore. If you've heard, Ithaca is gorgeous, right? It's just a beautiful place. I remember driving onto the campus for the first time and realizing that I'm here at Cornell. It was very cool. Maybe before I leave, I would try and ask them if there's a chance to come back next summer because it's amazing.